try this. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to share um, a unique strategy that I have. Uh, and I, when I usually when I talk about my strategy here on the channel, you guys will hear me talk about playing with house money. And I've gotten questions from a lot of you guys asking me like, uh, but can you talk a little bit more about playing with house money? So basically, when you invest in a stock, Again, you can find a stock that's cheap. You buy it, the price goes up. Uh, most people would just hang on to the profits and just sit there um, for, I don't know, months or years. So if you buy a $10 stock and it doubles value and goes to $20 and sits around that $20 mark for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 months to a year, and you sit there for the long run, um, that is your strategy, maybe it works for you, but to me, that is not a good strategy because that money is not really working. The, the money has done its job getting to you to that $20 mark, but after that, the money is just sitting there doing nothing, in my personal opinion. So uh, my strategy that I talk about and talk about how to play with house money is basically that you take out those gains. So I'm gonna kind of break down how I go about doing that. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So basically, uh, you have an account that you want to grow and you're looking for different ways to grow the account. The best way is to invest in growth stocks. So you find maybe some IPOs or you find maybe some innovative companies that you can invest in and your account might grow. But now, how do you make sure that you continue to see growth in that account? For me, I want to diversify my portfolio. So for instance, if I have $5,000 invested in one stock and that value and that particular stock doubles in value. So it goes from 5,000 to 10,000. Most people just allow that 10,000 to sit there and just sit there forever. I initially invested $5,000. So I'm gonna pull out my initial investment of $5,000. And so whatever is left in that stock, that is house money. My initial investment is out. So I take that initial investment now, I'm looking for my next victim. So when I say take out your initial investment, what's left there, that's what I call house money. So now at that point, you own that stock outright. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you don't owe anything on that stock. And it's free money that was given to you by the market because of your smart, because of your time, researching and investing. So now you take that 5,000, you go look for another growth stock. You look for another IPO that's coming up. You look for another innovative company that's coming up and you invest that 5,000 in it and you put it in there two, three months, it goes up you take out your initial investment, you go to the next one. So at this point, you've diversified your portfolio because you are holding three separate stocks as opposed to just one stock where it has, which has all your gains. In case one of those stocks go down, you have two stocks that are gonna keep you afloat. So that is a strategy that I have been implementing. And um, I, again, I just started doing that this year. So it's not something I've been, I, I did in the past. I just started doing that this year because I noticed that my account grows faster and, and I have more uh, stocks and more diversification in my account compared to just hanging on to one uh, stock and, and just writing. So if that's something that you think you can benefit from, definitely go ahead and give it a shot and see and see how that works because it, it does definitely works um, for me really well. So again, guys, take profit out of stocks that your account has maybe double or whatever take those gains and invest in something else and just keep that money going. So if you started with 1,000 and you're sitting at a thousand dollar profit, take 1,000 out and put in something else. Now your, your account is diversified. So that's pretty much the strategy that I wanted to share with you guys. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this strategy? Is this something you're willing to try? Or you're gonna be like, hey, Mr. V, no, I just buy and let it go uh, for the long run. I don't wanna ever sell anything. Because um, I know that's how some people operate. But again, that is absolutely okay. You have to know what works for you. I'm just sharing what works for me. And so, because I've gotten some questions of people asking me when I talk about playing with house money, that is the strategy that I use. 
guys, always do your homework. Um, you can listen to so people here on YouTube, but at the end of the day, you are your own boss. You, it's your money, so do your due diligence before you start uh, putting that money in the market. The market could be a risky place. Uh, I mean, you hear here people are making gains. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys like, oh, you know, I have a Lamborghini outside my house because I don't yet, um, my goal is to someday, but I, I'm going through the proper channel. I'm going through the slow steps and slowly building my portfolio. Um, it's not something that comes overnight. So again, guys, let me know what you think about your strategy. And as always, don't be a greedy savage. Always secure profit and stay motivated.